All right, Jamie, let's figure this out. Got this mighty sweet battery here and a boat that's begging for power. So where does everything go in it? Well, I know where I go. I sit right there. Well, my cushion's down. The motor's back there. I don't want to put the motor and the battery in the same place. Um, my first thought is to stick the battery up through this hatch. I mean, it's definitely long enough. The hatch is definitely big enough. It's just, you know, I think that hole might be big enough. Um, and then where do I put the charge controller? I want to be able to see it so I can at least see the little blinking lights. Maybe attach it to the ceiling somewhere up here. I have also been thinking about taking the pedal power out of this boat. So if I took the pedal power out, I could put the battery right in here. I don't know. I gotta, I gotta think. Maybe I'm not gonna mess with the pedal power right now because I might want to leave it in. All right, I think the first thing I need to do is just see if the battery fits through that hole. There's some crap in there. Why are there leaves in there? All right, keep in mind, Jamie, that what you're cutting out right now does not take into account the little battery post things. So I'm gonna do this just with the battery case because in the event these don't fit in, I can just make some little slots where they can fit through. Hopefully the whole thing will just fit the whole we'll see. All right. Okay, lucky, lucky, lucky. Oh my gosh, that will fit. That will totally fit through there. Except for the battery posts. Hmm. I wonder if they have screws that I can unscrew to get through the hole here. And then once I get it through, I can put the battery down a little lower and then I can screw the things back. Oh, all right, what do we got here? Oh man, if I take the screws off, it still leaves like a little bit of space I'm gonna need. Okay. I think if I just trim, if I just trim out the bottom edge just a little bit, I think this will actually fit with the bolts on. But let me take the bolts off. Let's get the maximum amount of space. You know what? I don't really have to mess with this right now. The fact is, it's going to fit through that hole. So, all right, let me just leave those connected so I don't lose them. So, what do I put in there for the battery to, to rest on? I think, I think that is where the battery is going to go. It is by far the best spot in the boat to put the battery, I'm pretty sure. Might be missing something, but yeah, it seems like the only good spot to put the battery. Plus, it's like it's like that thing was made to fit through that hole. Or maybe my hole was made for that battery, I don't know. Okay, I'm, I'm pretty sure the battery will fit through there. Yeah, actually if I trim it a little tiny bit wider, the, the bolts should even fit through. And there's plenty of overlap. Okay, so once I get it in, it can go down pretty far. And then I'll be able to reach the top, no problem. And I don't want this just sitting on the bottom of the hull of the boat for various reasons. Something under it. So what goes under there? You know, maybe just that foam thing the batteries were shipped in. Let me just go get it. Okay, what if I put the battery in this thing? Well, I guess I would put this thing in the boat first and then the battery would go right in it. Um, that way it'll protect it from, you know, 
getting jostled around or anything. Maybe I'll trim the sides off just in case any water gets in there. I don't want it to run out. Um, and then I, I just want this. Okay, I think that actually sounds pretty good. So maybe I'll, I'll trim the sides of this a little bit to match the, the V shape of that part of the boat. But then I want something under it because I don't want this just pressing up against the side. Like I want something under it, supporting it. Um, well, maybe some of this can somehow kind of like carve it up correctly. Might be able to, oh, you know what else I have? I also have a whole bunch of styrofoam. This is a nice big solid styrofoam piece. If I carve that correctly, what else is in here? Yeah, I think that one's it. Okay. A super lightweight, nice and strong. I have that on top. Okay. First thing, let me just get that fit in there somehow. Cut it to the length first, actually. Well, I guess I'll cut it to the length of this thing, not the battery, because this is what's going to go on top of it. All right, nice sharp knife so I don't make a mess. Making a bit of a mess. I'll sweep this up. All right, now I want to cut this to match the bottom of the boat. All right, a bit of luck. Okay, I need a bit of filing. That looks pretty good in there. All right, I just need to file off a little bit of these corners. Get your new home in there. Front up, I think it'll fit. How do I do that? What the? All right. Get in there. Okay, that sucker's in there. Okay. I want the rear two solar panels to charge it. Ooh, I've got some wires coming in from the solar panels and figure out where to put the charge controller. Somewhere between the solar panels and the battery. Right. Uh, maybe I'll put it right here. That'll be a good spot. To sit there. I can see it blinking at me. Make sure it's working. If it's up here. It shouldn't get splashed. Although I can make a little some kind of cover for it in the event that it does get splashed. Now I'm stuck. The charge controller I ordered for that boat is not going to work. So I ordered a new one. I think I can get it here in a week or two. So I guess I'll just wait for that. <laughs> 